Hi, this is Sonam Wangchuk from a very windy Ladakhi afternoon. Let me show you this valley where I am. It's called the Pyang Valley where we are building an alternative university for mountain development and climate change adaptation. The sad story of this valley is that in 2006 there was a devastating flash flood which took many lives and washed away many farms, fields and houses. When we asked people, when was the last time you had seen such flash floods, the answer was, we don't remember. The next flash flood was in 2010, and the next 2015, and the next 2017. The mountains are facing the wrath of nature in the face of climate change. For the last 30 years, together with my team, we have been struggling, or rather playing, in these mountains with earth, sun, ice and fire to help climate change mitigation and adaptation. With my team, I have been designing and building many institutions, all run on solar energy, using the sun for space heating, cooking, pumping, lighting and so on. Of late, we have been building ice stupa, which is a form of artificial baby glaciers that store the water from the winter in the form of large ice cones till the springtime when farmers need water the most. But today we feel that all these innovations are just small fixes that will get us nowhere if the world goes on with business as usual with their high-tech lives and polluting lifestyles. Today, on the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, who epitomized simple living, we want to start a global movement, starting from the mountains of Ladakh, to appeal to the people of the world to please live simply so that we in the mountains may simply live. But how do we reach out to the people of the world? Well, that's where we need your help. We're planning to start a major campaign, a uniquely innovative crowdfunding campaign around New Year this year, where people of the world will contribute not in money, in any case the planet doesn't need money, it needs changes in lifestyle and behavior. So people can contribute by pledging lifestyle change and the site will tell them how much worth in dollars or rupees they are contributing. For example, a pledge to not use single-use plastic could amount to a contribution of say $1,000. Similarly, other behavior changes like choosing trains instead of flights, stairs instead of elevators, bicycles instead of cars, or a pledge to go vegetarian and planting trees will be evaluated by the site and a total global contribution will be worked out around the new year 2020 which may run into trillions of dollars. Partner organizations are expected to develop apps, games, websites and start city clubs around the idea to make it easy and fun for everyone, especially children, to join this movement. So while the main campaign will happen around New Year, in this first phase, we are appealing for partnerships from climate scientists, environmental organizations, government bodies, schools, universities, app and game developers, passionate individuals and influencers and celebrities. We appeal to you to please connect with us so that we can design and build an effective movement by New Year this year. Please live simply! So we live simply! Please live simply. Please live simply. So we may simply live. And as we greet and bid farewell in Ladakh, we say Jule. Jule! Jule!